Franz Kutschera, the murder of Warsaw's executioner and the macabre post-mortem nuptials. High-ranking S's and Gestapo commander Franz Kutschera, also referred to as the executioner of Warsaw, was in charge of the savage suppression of Polish citizens and resistance fighters during World War II. He was killed by Polish resistance fighters in a daring raid in the center of Warsaw in February 1944. Nazis performed a grisly posthumous wedding ceremony for Kuchera after his death, dressing his body in a suit and displaying it next to a girl wearing a wedding gown. This gory spectacle was intended to serve as both a warning to the Polish populace and a display of nazi power. But it did nothing but strengthen the Polish resistance's resolve and the fury of the world community. Franz Kuchera, an S, Brigade de Führer and member of the Austrian Nazi Party, lived from 22 February 1904 to 1 February 1944, between 1939 to 1944. Between 1930, Mater of Carinthia, while also being a member of the Grossdeutsche Riestas, Kuchera was chosen to lead the Estin police in German, occupied Warsaw in 1943. He was a target for assassination because of his atrocities against Poles, notably Polish Jews, according to the Polish Resistance Home Army and the Polish government in exile. In a targeted operation, KDU, a specialized Polish resistance special operations team, shot him to death in front of the SS headquarters in Warsaw. The Germans killed 300 Polish people as retaliation. Life. Kuchera was the son of a professional gardener and a low-ranking civil worker. He was born in Oberwaltersdorf, Lower Austria, at the time a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He attended a gymnasium in Village after finishing elementary school and served as a cabin boy in the Austro-Hungarian Navy in 1918-19. He temporarily attended a Budapest machinist school after graduating before beginning training to become a gardener like his father. For numerous years, Kuchera resided in Opava and Karlovy, very in Czechoslovakia. Hitler's Early Career Kuchera enlisted in the Schutzstaffel, S, in November 1931 after joining the Austrian Nazi Party in December 1930. In July 1930, the Austro-Fascist government of Engelbert Dollfuss outlawed the Nazi Party in Austria. Kuchera continued to be a devoted party activist despite the government's ban and was repeatedly detained by Austrian law enforcement for his unlawful pro-Nazi political activity. He worked as an estrapifer in Carinthia starting in 1933, and in 1934, he joined the Secura Pikesnest. Du, he was named deputy commander of the Klagenfurt based 90th S. Standarte in July 1935, and he held this position until March 1938. Kuchera joined the Riesgau Carinthia Civil Administration as Gauleiter Hubert Klausner's assistant in March 1938, following Austria's Anschluss to Nazi Germany. Following Austria's Anschluss to Nazi Germany, Kuchera joined the Gross Duster Reichstag following the vote on April 10, 1938, and remained a member. On May 24, he received the title of Deputy Goal Leiter, effectively taking over the leadership of the GAU during Klausner's frequent trips to Vienna in his capacity as the Reichskommissar Joseph Berkel's deputy. He was also appointed as a lay judge to the People's Court in February 1939, and after Klausner's untimely death on February 12, Kuchera was promoted to the position of acting goal leader for Carinthia. Second World War Just after the start of World War II, Friedrich Rainer, the Reich Defense Commissioner for Wehrkreis Military District XVIE, with headquarters in Salzburg, appointed Kuchera as his deputy in Carinthia. In March 1940, 
Kuchera volunteered for the military and was enlisted in the 3rd Mountain Division's 139th Gebirgs Jagger Light Infantry Regiment in May and June of 1940. He participated in the Battle of France in the Vosges after being transferred to the 6th Mountain Division. In November 1940, he received a promotion to the position of S. Brigade Fuhrer. On April 14, 1941, Kuchera was appointed Chief of Civil Administration for Slovenian Carinthia and Upper Carniola, which he oversaw as part of his GAO and where he rose to notoriety in where he rose to notoriety in the war against the Yugoslav partisans for his fanaticism and extreme harshness. This was during the German Balkan campaign. Kuchera was removed from his position as goal leader on November 27, 1941, for allegedly planning to take over the nearby race goal Salzburg, his adversary, Friedrich Rainer, the Salzburg Gioiter, so Salzburg Gioiter, succeed him. As a representative of the Rath Commissariat for the Strengthening of German Nationhood, Kuchera was seconded to the staff of Obergruppenführer Erich von den Bosch, zealous guy the higher S in police key, the higher S in police head, Hasef for Central Russia, Belarus, in January 1942. Kirk Dieve Kuchera personally oversaw a number of anti-partisan and mass-killing operations in the Soviet Union's controlled regions not long after arriving on the Eastern Front. He was promoted to General Major Der Polisse in November 1942, and on May 5, 1943, he was named S.N. Police Commander, S. and Police Commander, S. of, for the Mogilev District. Discovery. In November 1943, the Warsaw SS and police chief announced the execution of 60 Polish hostages and the sentencing to death of another 40. Kuchera began serving as the SS and police chief for the Warsaw district of the general government in occupied Poland on September 25, 1943. As he came to power in Warsaw, he increased the frequency of citizen roundups, ANCA, and hostage killings. The names of the next Poles to be executed in the event of an attack on a German soldier or police officer were posted on lists that were hung in the open every day. The commander of the SC and police at Warsaw District would always sign these notices in an anonymous manner. Alexander Kuniki, Reiski the head of intelligence for the Agat anti-Gestapo section of KDU learned of Kuchera's precise whereabouts while in Warsaw in December 1940. Three, despite the fact that they were a highly guarded secret with in the Reich security main office. The Opel Admiral limousine entered the driveway of the neighboring Warsaw S headquarters as Reisky continued his normal monitoring of the Gestapo offices on Alege Sucha. The C officer who emerged from the vehicle was clearly identified by the Brigadefer rank and insignia. Reisky was so intrigued that he started to covertly keep track of the SS man's appearances and departures from the S headquarters and reported his findings to his superiors. Reisky's observations of Franz Kachera were proven to be true by a Kiti Brube in January 1944. Assassination. Project Kuchera. Ujazdowski, Leszczyski Palace, 23. The location of the murder. Beyond the trees is the Ujazdao Avenue 23 building, which houses the S and Police District Headquarters for Warsaw and is where Kuchera was killed. Kuchera was brought before a covert special court of the Polish underground state when Reiski learned of his existence. He was accused of crimes against the Polish people specifically of killing several Polish civilians in Warsaw on a regular basis. Kuchera was found guilty and given the death penalty. The leadership of the Polish government in exile in London agreed with the special court's ruling and ordered the death penalty for Kuchera. The Kididu commander, Brigadier General Emil August Fieldorf, Neil, 
whose team had been tasked with organizing and carrying out the killing, received the death order shortly after it was drafted. The Kiyu combat sabotage team carried out the execution, the predecessor of Battalion Parasol. There were 12 individual assassins on the team. The majority of them belonged to the Grey Ranks, which served as scouts and guides. And guides. The execution was supposed to take place in front of the SS headquarters in Warsaw, located at 23 Ujaz Dow Avenue. On the morning of February 1, 1944, three Kidu gunmen ambushed Kuchera as his limousine approached the S headquarters and fired directly into the vehicle. Branisaw Pietra Zuex Plot, Blot, who was carrying a German MP-40 submachine gun, Ziza Poradsky Plot, British Dean, and Micah Isajewicz Kuchera and his driver were both fatally shot many times. Four Poles and two Germans were killed in the ensuing fire duel between the assassination crew and the German troops that had arrived. Funeral for Franz Kuchera in 1944 in an occupied Warsaw. Nazis held Kuchera's funeral service in Brujo Palace, and his body was then brought to Berlin on a special train. In retaliation for the murder, the German authorities in Warsaw executed 300 Polish civilian hostages in front of the public on February 2, 1944. A crippling 100 million Zloty tribute was also levied by the Germans on the Polish citizens of Warsaw and Warsaw County. S. Oberfuhrer Paul Otto Giebel succeeded Kuchera as head of the SS and police in March 1944. Deceased wife and son. The Norwegian woman, who became Kuchera's pregnant girlfriend on February 4, 1944, was Jane Lillian Jertsdatter Steen, the daughter of Jertsdatter Steen, the daughter of Gert Henrik Jertsen Steen and Magna, or Magda. Annette Hansdatter, Nie Jenst. Kuchera was posthumously wed in accordance with paganic rites. In 1994, Jane Kuchera, later Rogenskog, passed away in Norway. Sepp Kuchera, her son, trained as an alpinist and was the first person to climb the Hindukush Mountains Kho, Ikeshnik Han, in 1963, 2014, saw his passing.